Hello, my name is Luke Munt and I'm the digital coach for the Southeast region. And I'm going to show you today how to do collaboration between yourself and students using Seesaw and how to use the audio video tools to do that. So within Seesaw, I'm going to go ahead and hit our green plus, which we always do to add an activity. For this collaboration project, I'm going to go a new activity doesn't matter the name and the instructions. What you're really going to do with an audio and video uh, uh, activity within Seesaw is by using the multimedia instructions or example. So in here you can record a video and that's just a simple video recording that comes up or you can do a drawing and have your audio in there. So the audio is part of the drawing here. And this is how you'd set it up. So it's really easy. You can record up to a five minute video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you back in my class an activity I've given to one of my classes, and that is an uh, invention activity. So I want them to be creative and I want them to collaborate with each other. So I've given my full instructions in the video as to my expectations. I've already had four students respond. And once I approve those responses, they are now live in my journal. So in my journal, students can then start collaborating with each other. So I have my video here of a student that's answering the question what she would invent. And then I have my other students that come in here and they have commented as well. Now for elementary students, because that's the best use of Seesaw, I'm not looking for really detailed responses for collaboration. I want to see that they're posting and giving each other feedback. What I like to do is usually glows and, and um, grows so that the students can kind of give some positive and maybe some things to grow off of. And so I'm really liking these comments here. I also have my comments in Seesaw uh, enabled that I, I'm i the one that posts it. So you can see that I have uh, posts that need to be reviewed so that I can make sure that they're always appropriate. I always want to talk about good digital citizenship with my students too when they are collaborating with each other. As I go down, you can see some of the other ones here. So this student maybe didn't feel so brave to do a video like the assignment was, but was able to do a drawing for that, which is fine. And our students are giving good feedback. I can also add my feedback by giving a comment and I can record a voice here. Thank you, Matthew, for your work. I really appreciate your invention. Um, I think this is a really cool invention. Next time I would love to see you do a video, but for right now, this is great. Thank you for your drawing. Okay, so I've given my feedback there. I really like giving the audio feedback, especially for elementary students, because maybe they can't always read based off of the grade level, but I have that there. I have another drawing, more feedback from my students, and then this one here actually has an audio clip with the written response. So maybe the student didn't feel so comfortable doing the video, but that's completely fine because they have the audio. Sometimes our students don't want us to see inside their house or maybe aren't feeling comfortable on camera, that's fine. This student has given our uh, audio. So we have drawings, we have video, we have audio, but the real thing is that we have students that are interacting with each other. They can also like on their posts as well. So that's how we can do collaboration within, uh, within Seesaw. It's really nice that they can send audio video back and forth to each other and give each other great comments. All will be moderated by the teacher to make sure that everybody's doing appropriate. Later on, you could remove that moderation if your students are really getting it, but for elementary kids, it's always great that we don't have poop comments and things that end up in there. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy Seesaw.